Hi all, today we are going to be talking about determining direct proportion from a table. The first example, at the store a box of screws costs two dollars. Is the relationship of the cost to the number of boxes directly proportional? Well first we should probably talk about what it means for something to be directly proportional. So one second, I'm going to show you the definition. Here we have the definition of direct proportion. Please pause the video and take a second to write down the definition. I'm going to read it out loud to you as well. The definition of direct proportion is when two or more quantities are considered to be directly proportional when the relationship between the quantities is constant. We're going to talk more about that, but please make sure you get that in your notes. Direct proportion is also sometimes called direct variation. So if you see something called direct variation, that's the same as direct proportion. Back to our example, we're talking about the cost at a store of the number of boxes of screws to the number of boxes. So one way that we can determine if a relationship is directly proportional is to make a table. So here, what we're going to make a table for is the cost to the number of boxes. So now we're going to go back to our example on uh, the cost of screws. So I've made a table, and you can see that if I buy zero boxes of screws, it obviously costs zero dollars. One box costs two dollars, two boxes cost four dollars, three boxes cost six dollars, and so on. If this relationship is showing a direct proportional relationship, then when I make ratios, they should all be equivalent. Here I have my ratios set up, and you can see they are all equivalent. They all simplify to equal the same thing. They would all simplify to equal 2. So they are all equivalent, and therefore I can say that the relationship between boxes purchased and total cost is directly proportional, or the constant of proportionality I would say would be $2. You'll learn more about that later. Typically, you do set up these proportions all with the dependent item as the numerator, which in this case, cost depends on or is dependent on boxes. Boxes would be the independent. Again, we'll learn more about which one is dependent and which one is independent later. Right now, I just want to make sure that you can tell if this is a direct proportional relationship or not. We did determine that all of our ratios were equivalent, and therefore, the cost is directly proportional to the number of boxes purchased. Our next problem is um, about Madison driving her new truck. It says the table below shows the time driving x in relation to her distance traveled y in feet. Determine if the distance traveled is directly proportional to the time driving. So we have our relationships here. We're going to set those into ratios to make the, so that we can determine whether or not these show a direct proportional relationship. Here I have written our ratios of distance traveled over time driving. Again, you want your numerator to be your dependent variable and your denominator to be your independent <coughs> variable. In this case, the time driving is the independent variable and the distance travel is dependent. So let's look to see if these are proportional, meaning if each ratio is equivalent or equal. So we have 1 to 1, which would simplify to 1, 4 to 2, which would simplify to 2, 9 to 3, which would simplify to 3, and 16 to 4, which would simplify to 4. These are not equal. As soon as you can tell that one of your ratios is not equal, you know that you do not have a directly proportional relationship. <clears throat> Even if the rest of them are equal. So here what we're just going to say is this relationship is not directly proportional. Because the distance traveled is not directly proportional to the time driving, we can't discuss constant of proportionality.
there isn't a constant of proportionality. Madison really wants the iPad right now. I can say that the time driving is not directly proportional with the distance traveled. So I think that means the end of this video. Thanks, guys.